With clear minds from the morning breeze and a beautiful ocean view, we are ready to set up a 24-foot dome. With the help of two carpenter friends, Gary and Ulrika have built this on the hillside overlooking the ocean. Other flooring alternatives are cement, a wooden perimeter, or elevating the dome on a wall. We have everything we need on site, a 24-foot dome kit, a 12-foot step ladder, a cordless drill with half-inch socket and Phillips bit, four half-inch wrenches, 30 feet of rope, and some scrap wood. It's recommended to have three or more people your first time setting up a 24-foot dome. We temporarily fastened some scrap wood to the sides of the deck to hold the frame in place as we erect it. We lay the bundles of three different size struts in the center of the deck and unbundle them. We lay out the base of row one around the perimeter of the deck. Notice that both ends of each strut are bent at an angle. The acute angle is the deck. This is consistent throughout the entire frame construction. Next, we lay out the row one side struts on the inside of the row one base struts. Then we lay out the base of row two in a circle inside of row one. Now we bolt together row one finger tight. Put the side struts on the bolt first, then the base struts. Working around the circle, we stand up row one and bolt the base of row two to it. Now we have a circular wall skirting the perimeter of the deck. We then add the sides of row two on the outside of the bolt to the base of row two. Putting the nut on finger tight, we let the row two side struts hang down on the outside of the frame. Now we go back and tighten row one. Then we stand up and tighten the sides of row two. We put three row three struts on a bolt. Then we hang them on the outside of the existing frame and bolt them to the corresponding apex of row two. We work our way around the circle until the base of row three is connected and the row three side struts are hanging down on the outside of the existing frame. Then we stand up and tighten row three. Row four we do in the same way as row three. When row four is complete, we have five apexes outlining the shape of a five-pointed star. Now we bolt the top pentagon to the apexes of row four. We flip up the top five struts and bolt them together to complete the frame of the geodesic dome. Our next step is to secure the frame to the deck. Notice that two of every three hubs are raised about an inch and a half above the plane of the deck. This is created by the geodesics of the dome. We attach L brackets to the outside of these 10 raised hubs and screw them securely to the deck. Our next project is to put the dome cover on the frame. The cover is folded inside out with the door facing out and then rolled up. First we choose our door and big window placements. 
Johan holds the cover up below our door location. Together we unroll the cover up the side of the dome using the struts to support most of its weight. I tie the first tie. Still holding most of its weight, we unfold the cover onto the frame. We locate the next two tie hubs and tie the second and third ties. We unfold the cover until half of the big window is showing. Johan ties our rope to a window frame on the outside layer of the cover and the frame. Then he walks around and lifts up the outside layer of the cover as I pull it up with the rope. It is important to watch for snags where the window frames get caught on the hubs. When it reaches the roof, the cover over and down with our hands until it slides into place. Now the roof. From inside the dome, we gradually unfold the roof onto the outside of the frame. As we zip the zippers closed, we reach around and smooth down the Velcro flaps that cover the zippers. In this way, we unfold and zip the roof into place. Voila! the beautiful dome space is created. Now we will attach the main cover to the deck. Pulling the cover down firmly, we screw it to the sides of the deck through each of the in the bottom hem. Now the dome is securely fastened and can withstand high winds. We now remove the strut from the door opening. To install the two foot round windows, Johan slides the window into the bottom of the window pocket runs his fingers around it until the window pops into place. Each of the round windows is interchangeable with the screen. The roof screen we can either install under the roof or store in the window bag to install on a sunny day without the roof. We chose to install it under the roof so we can flip back the corners of the roof for ventilation and have the screen in place to keep bugs out. We unfold the roof screen between the frame and the roof and tie and velcro it into place. There are two base screens in the dome designed for cross ventilation. To install a base screen, we unzip the two zippers on that side of the dome. Then we roll up the canvas flap and zip in the base screen. If we want ventilation while it is raining, we can stake the canvas flap to the ground at an angle. The door flap zips closed from the top down. We can roll up the door flap and tie it into place, and then Velcro in the door screen for additional ventilation. Learning to effectively work the screens is one of the keys to keeping your dome cool in hot weather. For example, if we open a lower window and a corner of the roof on the opposite side of the dome, we create an air siphon will suck in cool air from below and blow the hot air out the opening in the roof. Living in a dome is living close to nature. By learning to work with nature, we can use the elements to our advantage. With proper ventilation, a slight breeze can keep us cool in the hot sun. In the winter, we can turn our big window toward the sun and solar passively heat our dome. With only the sun as a heat source, the dome can stay up to 50 degrees warmer than outside. Each dome comes with a stove cap, flashing, and flashing sleeve. 
that can be used to vent a wood stove, other heating system, or composting toilet. To install the vent, we slide the flashing into the canvas sleeve and then install the sleeve into one of the upper window holes. To install a wood stove, we make a base of either tile or metal sheeting directly below the stove vent. We then install 6 inch DS double wall stove pipe from the stove through the flashing 4 feet above the dome cover. Next we install the stove cap to the top of the pipe. Finally, we seal the joint where the pipe goes through the flashing with high temp caulk. With an appropriate sized wood stove, sauna temperatures can be reached inside the dome while it is below zero outside. Reflectix insulation can make your dome more comfortable in the winter and summer. In cold weather, Reflectix will help your dome retain heat longer and increase the efficiency of your heating system. In hot weather, it will reflect off the heat of the sun, helping the dome stay cool inside. If the big window is facing the sun, it's necessary to cover it with a curtain. We install the Reflectix by tucking the edges between the struts in the dome cover. The winter liner ties to the inside of the dome frame at every hub, creating a dead air space. It adds extra insulation and is aesthetically pleasing. The full liner is two separate pieces, the base liner and the roof liner. In a temperate climate, the roof liner is sufficient to help heat retention. With our liner installed, we can still access all of our screens for ventilation. Now we relax and enjoy the view from the beautiful space we have created all in a day's work. By giving some time and energy to learning how to effectively operate the systems of our dome, we're giving ourselves the ability to live closely with nature in a comfortable, protected environment. Pacific Domes has been sending domes for disaster relief for eight years. This red dome became the main distribution center outside of Biloxi, Mississippi after Hurricane Katrina. In order to serve more communities needing relief shelters, we've founded a nonprofit organization. Shelters for Freedom Worldwide exist solely for the purpose of providing temporary shelter for homeless victims of natural globally. All donations received are funneled directly into the cost of providing shelters. Thank mm -hmm. you.